thoughts? What were yours? Oh, um, usually nerves. <laughs> I'm, yeah. I mean, I haven't filmed, like, I didn't film anything before going back in, into season three, like from season two. So mm. it's just usually like, oh gosh, what's it going to be like filming again? <laughs> Honestly, I always get uh, quite nervous, but knowing I want to be with these guys more this season, I was excited as well. I think I was the same. I think that, but it, but also itchy. I was itchy to get into it. I think, and by this point, uh, Joe Trapanese and I had already started working on the songs, um, and so we kind of had written some. I'd written some of the songs, and Joe had written some of the songs, and we'd come together to have that conversation and discuss them and evolve them together, and. Um, and but then we got scripts coming in and we were like oh no now we have to change everything <laughs> like oh we have to you know and that was that was really i was just itchy and excited to get going really how about you oh and you oh um oh, I, what, I you didn't know. care did you <laughs> uh, <laughs> i didn't give it there we go round three <laughs> ding ding um i uh i just, i was excited many emotions did it excite yeah, it's exciting. I don't know. I, I can't honestly remember. It was so much happened after that. I'm, I'm you know, can't really remember what 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 I was thinking. It I was think. a bit of a whirlwind. It was yeah. a bit of a whirlwind, yeah. is how I'd put it. But I was, you know, I was excited. Um, I was excited for a lot of the storylines that that I knew were coming up that had been long awaited, mm. and I think that excited me. Um, <laughs> most challenging. Challenging. Uh, I. It was just a steady level of challenging throughout I the whole so. throughout the whole show. Yeah, it is. It's just like for different reasons, yeah. whether it be filming in the snow or having a day where you're just off, <laughs> like you're just a bit tired and you're having to like, you know, meet the meet a scene. Hmm. Um, uh, maybe shooting. You know, we don't often shoot in consecutive order. Hmm. You know, there's so many things that's always thrown at you, like changing schedule yeah. often was always, actually probably changing in schedule, constant. Yeah. That's always a challenge, not knowing what you're going into. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's always challenges on this yeah. job, never not. Yeah. One of my favorite scenes, involved, like we, we shot in Wales for, for a, a, a chunk of time and we got to be on the edges of the cliffs looking out over um, over the sea and one of my favorite scenes was was with you, you, I mean I don't want to give too much away but Siri and Yaskia bump into each other and um, and we have and it was so nice just to be able to I think I was like looking out over the sea and waiting for you your you to come in and it just felt very real and very natural and very I love shooting on location cuz you do you feel the wind uh, through through your hair, <laughs> you feel you feel the <laughs> sea spray face. exactly, and um, and then turning around and hugging you, it just felt very real. Mm. And those Aww. are the those are the moments where I, I look back on and go, you can't you can't manufacture that in some ways. Yeah, yeah. There was a scene for me which was made me think of when you said that being on the edge of a cliff. Yeah. I really was on the edge of a cliff. <laughs> Metaphorically, well, I don't want to make. I don't want to. I don't want to. Literally, yes. <laughs> and I don't want to like say any spoiler, but um, but it's a big scene and like mm. massive. I don't know. You end up feel like you end up feeling so when you've gone through years with a character, you feel very very connected to them obviously and so like kind of confronting things that had happened in season one uh, for my character was bizarrely emotional yeah. without even trying like it just felt so something in me just like, the adrenaline yeah, just starts going something right? in yeah. me is like it's just yeah I'm not it sounds very method I'm not method but like it just <laughs> sound, it feels so real because you've got all those genuine memories of playing out those scenes mm. from season one and they they do stay with you when you're then doing the scenes in season three yeah mm. I, I completely agree <laughs> like being on location and especially Wales um, we filmed at a part uh, in a, a place in Wales where I camp me and my partner camp <laughs> <laughs> and he's Welsh and it meant a lot to me so yeah. I, all I did was run up and down a cliff but that meant a lot much is uncertain on this continent dangers we've seen foretell an even more menacing future. 
Now, for the first time, I understand real fear. Are you ready? It's really exciting to be back to season three because the season two took so, so long. We also had time to really work on this story. Season three is mostly based on the time of contempt. Not only are the stories really fun and epic, I think it has some real fan favorite moments. And this time really paid off. I think this season is very, very close to the book. A time of contempt is approaching. It starts off with Geralt and Yennefer agreeing to protect Ciri. For your discretion. We're all together, and I think that's a relationship that everyone's been yearning for. I was so excited to feel a part of a family, albeit it's a little bit broken from everything that's happened. But now they're out in the wild, because there's people out there hunting Ciri, they are exposed. And so they are training her. They're re-establishing their relationship as Yennefer is teaching Ciri how to harness her magic. It was crucial to show how she's improved, how she is now actually bringing that into helping in situations. It's putting her training to the test. She needs to be exposed to this now. I just love the fights. And then getting to do one with Henry. I mean, I've been waiting for this moment. Ciri! He wants to train his adopted daughter to be as good as he is. You get to see a, a deeper side to Geralt. I got to inject a bit more intellect and a bit more thoughtfulness. Going to Arachusa cannot be the only answer. It's the best thing for her. Yennef is a bit of a politician when she goes back to Arachusa. She has to organize a conclave. What we are getting to see now is everything that we've been building Sorry, coming baby. to fruition. Just be gentle with him. Season three is the season where everything gets to broaden out and everyone gets to play a bit. A lot of the characters all have their own agenda. We've got all these mysteries going on. We get introduced to some new characters. Right of it! <laughs> Woo! We see bonds forming, bonds breaking. The continent's now again at the brink of war. A lot of pieces just fall off the board. It's how chess is played. But it comes down to which side are you on? Are you with us or are you against us? Someone's doing some fairly nefarious stuff behind the scenes, and Geralt has to catch up to it. Whoever it is, is very dangerous. Let it lie, Geralt. It's the first time we actually are facing death, and that it's going to take huge sacrifice to try and get through this. Wow. Oh, for wars. The gloves are off, and you're being thrown into the deep end. All the fans will know where the books are heading. Those who don't, it's a real shock. No matter where you go, what you do, there will always be enemies waiting for you.